Bob Buchanan here from Practical Eyes. Now, would you be interested in finding out something fascinating about the way your own brain works? Well, if you would, I've got a very, very short quiz for you. It's dead easy, won't take long, there's nothing complicated about it. All you're going to have to do is speak out loud the colour of the letters that have been used to make some words which are going to appear on your screen. Now, it's just a little bit trickier than that because if you look at this example, all ten words which are going to appear on your screen, one after the other, are the names of colours. The word says magenta, but the letters that are making up the word magenta are not magenta coloured, they're green. So, what I'm going to ask you to do is to speak out loud the colour of the letters that make up the word, not the word itself. hope that makes sense. And then just to make it even more interesting, each word is going to flash up on the screen, but only for a second. So you're going to have to be quite quick. So, settle yourself down in your chair, make sure you're nice and relaxed, and we'll set off. You ready? Here we go. So, how did you do? Did you manage to get it right? And more importantly, did you feel a bit of conflict, a bit of tension? Well, let's just give you one more chance. This time I'm going to put them up on the screen all at the same time and read them as fast as you can, starting at top left, going towards top right, and then the next row down, left to right, next row down, left to right, till you've read them all out and do it as quick as you can. Okay, now it's just for fun this, but what's happening here is this quiz has been deliberately set up to generate tension between what we call your left brain and your right brain. So if you could take the top of your head off and look at your brain from the top, you'd see what looks like a perfectly symmetrical brain divided down the middle. Now the left and the right brain are both used to process almost all kinds of information, but they do process slightly differently. Now the left is much better at pattern recognition, for instance. So the left brain is very good at working out what the word is that is made by the letters that are on the screen. Now it also is very dominant when it comes to speech. So most speech is controlled by the left side of the brain. So the left side of your brain will just be wanting to pronounce the words as they are on the screen, regardless of what colour those words are. On the other hand, though, the right brain is very sensitive to colour. So the right brain will be trying to talk about the colour of the letters and it will tend to ignore what the actual word is. So if you look in the centre of your screen right now, the first word that came up, the word is black. So the left brain will just want to pronounce that as a word. But the right brain will be interrupting the left brain, say, yeah, but it's yellow. The letters are yellow. So you'll get this tension in your brain between the left brain trying to say black and the right brain trying to say yellow. So it's fun, that's all. But it's just a good way of demonstrating one aspect of the different ways in which the left side and right side of your brain process the exact same information. Now, this quiz is not original to me. It's been around for quite a few years. It's just been used in research to try and demonstrate this point that we've just been talking about. Now, I stumbled across it because I've been researching an online course that I've put together on how your brain works, the idea that each of us has a slight bias towards either the left side of our brain uh, or the right side of our brain, and that has implications, of course, for the results we get at home or at work. I'm also looking at, is there things that we can do to try and rebalance our brains so that we're as good at using the right as we are at the left? And if we could do that, what would some of the benefits be? So if that's the sort of thing that you're interested in, then what I'd like you to do, if you would, is to subscribe to the channel and or like this video. And then in the not too distant future, I'll be posting a video up telling you all about this course, how you can get access to it and what the next steps would be. So hope you found that fun. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you later.